I want to do like a quick little introductory video of who I am and why I decided to go natural. So, my name is Terry. I am from Houston, Texas. I am married to the most uh, wonderful husband in the world. <laughs> I have a daughter who's 10. Um, I decided to go natural because doing my hair, like getting relaxers every two to three weeks was just getting expensive for me. And at the time I wasn't married, I was a single mother and a college student. So, I mean, paying 60 bucks, 70 bucks, however much it would cost me to, and I didn't have a regular stylist. So I was going to, you know, different people, having them do my hair, you know, that just became just not cost effective for me. So um, I decided to start going natural maybe around 2007 or 2008. And at the time I had the micro braids and no, not the micro braids. I had the kinky twist and it was hair added in because I wanted just a little bit of length, not a whole lot, but just a little bit of length. And so I kept those in for about maybe six months, which is way too long. And I learned that after I took it down because when I took it down, my hair in the middle, like everything else was fine, and my hair in the middle like locked on itself. So I had this huge chunk of hair at the back in the middle that just would not detangle. And I mean, I spent hours on this one section of hair trying to get it to free itself and it just wouldn't. So I finally had to go to a stylist and have her actually cut that large large chunk of hair out because I mean there was no saving it at that point and I admit I cried in the chair it was my first time having such a large section of hair cut out of my head but I mean I got over it and the hair grew back um, this is that large section of hair that was cut and I believe that was in 2008. I had to cut the perm in, so little by little, because I was so, so, and I'm still, cause like I've been contemplating it a little bit for a little while, but I was so afraid of the big chop. And at the time I knew no terminology. Like, no, I'm sorry, I'm turning in this chair. I have an issue with turning chairs. Anyways, <laughs> so, um, I had no issue of natural hair terminology, so I just figured I'm not gonna shave my head off. I'm not gonna do the big chop. So I transitioned for two years. What is that? 2008? Okay, yeah. So I transitioned for like two years, cut off the permed ends little by little, and I just cut the last part of my permed ends off. Um, I don't know if it was the last part, honestly. It seemed as though the last part, because I mean, my hair, you know, does a thing now. So I got another cut back in December, um, this past December. So, um, yeah, that's what I did. I transitioned and cut it little by little. So, Learning about natural hair, I did not learn anything about natural hair until sometime around 2009, 2010-ish, because I didn't know, I was still using the same shampoo, the same conditioner, the same, you know, hair grease that, um, what was the one that I used? I used Therizist. Love Therizist because, you know, it made your scalp tingle all that. I was still using all that stuff on my natural hair. I had no idea that there was like a whole market for natural hair. I had no idea that I could make my own stuff for my natural hair until around 2009 or 10, like I said. And my first introduction into the education of natural hair was Kimmy Tube. And I know a lot of you are familiar with Kimmy Tube and I will post a link to her channel. 
That chick taught me so much about my hair. And she taught me that I needed to learn my hair. Not everybody's hair is the same. Everybody, you know, it's like fingerprints. Not everybody's fingerprints are the same. Not everybody's hair is the same. But like, just the general knowledge that she was giving about natural hair like opened my mind up to so many possibilities. So I started doing my own research and I started checking out some products and guess what happened? Became a product junkie. Yeah, bought everything under the sun. Have everything under the sun under my bathroom sink. But I mean, I don't regret, you know, I, and it's funny because I, I became natural so that I could save money and then I became a product junkie. Weird. Anywho. But I don't regret, you know, because I know what my hair likes now. I know that I don't have to go and buy everything just because something new came out, even though sometimes I do. And I mean, just a whole world opened up to me. And even the, like, I went, I volunteered at the Nzuri Hair Show this past December. And, I mean, these women and these men, too, had these beautiful, beautiful natural hair, these locks, all these different styles. I mean, just beautiful things you can do with your hair in this natural state. And, I mean, it, everything about me being natural is simply amazing to me. I mean, just simply amazing. This whole learning about hair and what works and how I can go into the kitchen and if I don't have a conditioner, I can go whip up an egg, <laughs> you know, and make me a conditioner. And I mean, this whole, this whole journey has been really great for me. And it got to the point to where I decided to start a blog. And the blog was essentially supposed to just to be me keeping track online of everything that I was learning and then like other people started reading it I started adver advertising it a little bit on Facebook like with my friends and stuff who also have natural hair and have questions about natural hair and you know I've gotten a few ladies to respond to the things that I've written and had some questions asked and I was like oh this can you know, I, I want to continue this. I want to continue learning about natural hair and sharing what I learned with others because, you know, us, we can be secretive when we want to be. Girl, where you get that purse? Oh, I, you know, I don't know. I got this a long time ago. You know how we can be. <laughs> so I was like, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to be that way. You know, I want to share everything that I learned about my natural hair with whoever wants to listen you know I don't even I don't care who and I my husband gets like so <laughs> like he probably knows too much about natural hair than he cares to know about it but it's just been a fun journey for me and I hope that you guys enjoy the things that I will be posting my idea is to make a video for everything that's been posted on my blog if I can um, I'm trying I don't know how the whole me washing my hair is gonna go my shower is not that spectacular for me to be videoing in the shower so I'll probably have to take pictures and then do a like you know video a picture video thing but that's all I really have to say I didn't want this to be too long I don't want to be all long-winded about myself because I can keep going because I'm still learning stuff like these a what is it Ayurvedic powders that you can mix and put in your hair then I learned about a mud wash and some clay y'all just don't understand I'm about to start doing some all extra stuff again so my kitchen gonna be dirty <laughs> but I hope y'all enjoyed this um let me know how your journeys are going like please post videos or post comments let me know how your journey's going and let me know how you got started i mean everybody gets started for different reasons and i really like to know but that's it about me if you have any questions um you know feel free to contact me i'm here <laughs> all right bye